Yo brothers, welcome back. Here we go with the second portion of this intake porting. If you didn't check out the first portion of this and you'd like to see it, go ahead and check it out. I'll put in the link up in the corner actually. And so there's where we are right now. Like I was saying before, we were just doing the mouth of the port and I got that pretty much squared away as far as getting it to the outer diameter that I wanted to. I still have a little bit more to do. I left a little bit more space because I wanted to have enough so that I could go over it with some sandpaper and get it to the right size and make it all smooth. It's not the easiest to see because my lighting is very off. Kind of that silver line around it. It's just ever so slightly there. So now I'm gonna be going down with the sandpaper down the actual port and pretty much just smoothing it all out. We may finish up the rest of it today because there's not much porting sizing that I need to do with the big stuff as far as making it bigger. So depending on what we get into, I think we'll finish it up on this one. So just like the exhaust port, we're gonna work on that divider in the bottom there. You see how fat it is. We're gonna skinny that up. That's pretty much the biggest cutaway that we're gonna be doing in this port. But other than that, just smoothing out the port the best we can and making sure we keep the same size, the same shape and all that good stuff so that we don't ruin the flow of the port. So just like the other one, I'm not really gonna film myself porting the head itself just because I don't want to scratch the lens up with all the debris that gets flying for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna just explain the best I can as I'm going along the way, show you what I do in the process, and if I have any thoughts along the way, I'll stop and record and tell you guys. So we're getting quite a bit done here. We're making it pretty smooth. Getting pretty far down there, and you can see that inner rib. I have a pretty thin at this point, as opposed to this one. You can see how wide it is. I got that thinned down pretty good. Now the thing that I want to explain here is the importance of that rib, because with the exhaust side, everything's traveling. Let me turn the light up a little bit, my goodness. With that rib, with the exhaust, everything's flowing from behind that rib and then coming out. So it's not as important as it, as it is now, because now everything's flowing towards that rib. So if I have that thing shaved one side or the other too much, all the air is gonna be trying to go down into that one intake valve. And we don't want that, we want it to stay even so that it's evenly distributing into the cylinder through both valves. So it's really important that I make sure that I don't cut too much on one side and the other. Right now I notice I do have a little bit on the one side, so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I grind that down and really spend a lot of time feeling that. It's hard because it's kind of a long port and my fingers aren't that long, but I'm gonna do my best to get in there in any way that I can. All right, so I pretty much got the whole port smooth. There wasn't really much to it except for the rib that I was talking about. It's basically just going after it and smoothing it out so there's no ridges and no rough surfaces in the port anywhere, which is pretty nice at this point. And I got that rib nice and even the way I like it. And there is some rough stuff that I'll have to flip it over and do it on the other side. But right now I'm gonna go through the rest of the ports here. All right, so I went and finished the rest of the ports, did the same thing and smoothed them all out with the sandpaper all the way down. And before I flip them over to finish the rest of the port, what I wanna do is go back to the gasket itself. Because if you remember, I used the carbide to open up the mouth, but now I'm sandpapering. I left a little bit of an edge so I can creep up on it and not go too big real quick. So right now I'm fitting that right now. And the way that I was doing that before, is basically putting it on the bottom, matching it on the bottom, and then centering it up as best I can. Now for me, just sandpapering, smoothing out the edges, it already got pretty close, but some of them, this isn't perfect. We can still see it has a little bit of an edge. This one's probably the worst one out of all of them. If, uh, well, it's over a little bit, but on the top side mostly. So just gotta run over those real quick. And basically what I'm gonna do with this is just kinda go one port at a time, match it up, have an idea of where I need to cut it, and then sand it down, and then put it back on. It's just very tedious of taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on. But in order to get it perfect, that's what I gotta do. And then we'll flip it over and do the rest of it. And one of the ways that I'm keeping track of it is I'll lay the gasket on, and as you can see, I'll mark with the Sharpie where it needs to be trimmed. So in between these two marks is where I need to be sanding strictly. Anything outside of it, I don't need to touch. So I just make those marks and then kind of keep a visual of how much, I'm not, uh, just a, you know, an idea of my, in my head about how much it needs to be trimmed down. And just keep touching it up and see where it goes. So to give you guys a little bit better idea of how I'm actually holding this in order to line it up every time, 
so that I make the right shaving is what I do like I was talking before is I wasn't moving the bottom so I'm matching the bottom up on both this port and this port so that it lines up with the rest of them and then what I'm doing is lining up this one centering it the best that I can where what where I have this one and once I get that one in place because I'm pretty much done this one now and it's exactly where I want it to be the port is the exact same shape so now what I do now that I have this one matched then I just move over to this one continue to make sure that this is on the bottom like the other one and then kind of just hold it look at it now I'm seeing this one's pretty much right I did a little bit of shaving this one already but I still need to get this bottom edge in here so the next part is just to shave this down and then once I get this port I kind of just keep walking over and make sure the ports are still matching along the way and then continuing to just do one after the other and then I'll end on this side so after about having a head off and on about a hundred different times I finally got them matched up definitely took a lot of tedious on and off on and off but it's definitely worth it it's gonna match up now I'm gonna do the underside we'll flip it over to show you that stuff all right so here we go with the final part of the head we're just gonna do the seat side of the fort and as you can see when I was doing the other side when I was doing the, the mouth I got a lot of it done already and it's more of just touching up more of the parts closer to the valve itself the seat so just going around the guide and mainly this turn this short turn here which like I said I'm not doing any shaping I'm pretty much just flapping it so just gonna run through this process clean it up make sure everything's smooth as silk and one thing that I'm seeing as I'm going through this process here is along the edges on both sides of the port on the outside is it's coming in it's coming in straight and then all of a sudden right before it hits the seat it opens out it gets wider so what I'm doing is cutting down that ledge and opening it up on the side so that it's smooth on the inside it's, it has it as well on the inside so that's the only kind of sizing that I'm doing other than just smoothing it out but that's my main focus is just making sure that it's a smooth transition from the inside of the port out to the seat because it does open up pretty pretty wide one other thing that I'm doing here is you see the guides on the other ones here right now they're you know a square or not a square but they have the sharp edges that one's actually I got a little bit but what I'm doing is I'm really focusing on rounding them off and making them smooth and you know just thinking about how the air is flowing if I can get my flashlight to stay there we go how the air is flowing over it coming from this direction and making sure that there's no lip or any obstruction that would hit a wall so to speak and just smoothing them out making sure they're nice and smooth because um, the exhaust ports they don't have that issue because they're the guides are actually sunk pretty well into the head so there's not a real big obstruction in the port itself so I didn't really talk about that although just by smoothing out the exhaust port hit the guide so it did smooth it out some so I have finally completed just porting the head definitely quite some time invested guys this last part only took me you know maybe 45 minutes an hour the entire head through and through I don't know it could have been maybe like five six hours total maybe more than that I don't know I wasn't really clocking the time I just know you know over the course of a couple of days also filming takes a little bit of time too because I'm thinking about what to present to you guys everything was pretty straightforward for the rest of it this part was pretty easy to finish it off now the only thing I have left to do the head is completely done so the only thing I have left to do as far as porting goes all I got to do is the intake now so as you saw the ports match exactly with the gasket but with the intake now if we put the intake the gasket on the intake you see how much smaller those ports are what that would do if I were to leave that there you have that small opening going into the head which is this bigger opening and it slows all the air down from the fact that it's going into a bigger space so we want to make sure that they match those perfectly I'm going to show you how I transfer that over because that gasket can move around remember and I had to I did a specific way on the head so I'll show you how I transfer that over on the intake on the next video but other than that that wraps up the head porting if you guys have any questions you know I like answering them feel free to ask and always love hearing from you guys as well subscribe like the video let me know what you think and I'll see you guys on the next one